I'm Mike Corliss from Tormac and today I'm going to show you how to use the strap clamp set. You have an assortment of studs. Different length strap clamps. Nuts. And T nuts. Nuts for creating extended studs. And the step blocks. There's three different sizes of step blocks. We'll clamp this, this block down to the mill. You have to have pick the appropriate length stud. Just hold it next to the workpiece down to the bottom of the T-slot. You have to figure in your clamp. The T-nuts slide into the T-slot on the table. Position them so you're clamping down on top of your workpiece and your whatever you're using to hold the block up, or you're supporting your workpiece with. Then the next thing you need to do is to set your support blocks. You can do it a couple different ways. If you're only clamping one part down, you can use the serrations on the blocks. They will, they'll, they'll hold the clamps. There's just no, uh, no repeatability really for being quick. Um, I like to use a second block on the serrations, and then have my clamp reference on that. I can set my height so I'm just above my workpiece. If the surface of the part you're clamping on is a finished surface that you don't want uh, any uh, marks on, use a piece of shim stock. I have some 60 thou aluminum here, and that's what I'll, I'll use to protect my piece. And then set the height of your riser block so it's a little taller than whatever you're clamping on. So I want my riser block to be just a little bit proud of my shim stock. Do the same on the same. Then a couple nuts on top. The reason you have your step blocks higher than the workpiece you're clamping on is so the nose of your clamp clamps down on your workpiece. If you have your step blocks lower, then the, the bottom of your clamp will clamp on your workpiece and it actually push your workpiece away. Okay, now that's just how we would strap a uh, part down to the table. I can also show you how to use the strap clamp set to support a, a piece that might be hanging out of your vise.
if you had a long workpiece like this and you were doing some drilling on the end, you could also use the kit to make up a little support. So what do you have there? A nut on either end of a stud. And you just tighten it against the table and the bottom of your workpiece. And that is supported for down pressure. And this is just a couple different ways to use a strap clamp set. There's many other ways, but this is just a, a quick intro to using a strap clamp set. Mm -hmm.